Hi, today we are going to discuss uh, Digicon and uh, in particular we are going to compare it to Alibaba. During the course of 2015 I've been asked quite frankly too many times the same question whether do I prefer uh, Gdcon or Alibaba and what my answer it was invariable the same when this question in fact uh, came up uh, I had uh, as you are aware of if you visit the website stockmarketlive.tv I was uh, uh, short Alibaba and uh, thereafter I closed the short position for the reasons that subscribers are aware of and uh, uh, the profits they were amazing I also played Alibaba on long side and I made some research uh, with regards to this company GDCon and this was in March 2015 the company was about to uh, report earnings I didn't have any position on the stock and since it was new uh, to me I uh, decided to not to have a position through earnings and it was quite interesting because after the company reported earnings and the earnings they were very good the quarter GDCon reported a very good quarter but the uh, action in March 2015 it was quite surprising uh, because uh, it was I would say or qualify as irrational this is the chart in uh, GDCon and it was interesting because I uh, saw the stock a gap to the upside shares and then shares they collapsing in very high volume the volume it was amazing on after the earnings report so I decided immediately uh, upon my research to buy this stock at $27.80 on weakness I didn't buy on the gap to the upside and uh, quite frankly I think that I made a very good decision thereafter not in that particular day but uh, a couple of days later I communicated this to subscribers that I considered after making some further research that I considered GDCon a very good player so um, I never traded GDCon in the sense you know buy and then sell re-enter you know and uh, short-term trading never I bought the stock I was prepared to buy more if shares they would uh, uh, trade down to $25 and a, half, and a half well it happens that the shares uh, when I bought the shares at $27 and uh, 80 cents the shares they I think that they went at that time to 27 and, uh, and a half or so but uh, they didn't uh, go uh, uh, they didn't uh, continue going down all right so I placed my trailing stop and I found interesting because a few months later not long time this stock in my perspective it was at that price bear market price I mean $27 for GDCon why people they were selling I mean when you look at the chart and you are seeing it on your screen you see I mean I didn't buy the stock you know in uh, January 2015 I didn't buy the stock in February for example at twenty you know four dollars or twenty three no I bought this stock already you know later on in March uh, at twenty seven dollars eighty cents and I consider a very good price so I was surprised at why they were selling the stock and I consider the, the, you know these these guys they don't know what they are doing and so that was a compelling investment opportunity and uh, pretty much like other companies that I've been discussing so uh, looking at the metrics of this company and preferring in fact GDCon to Alibaba I forgot about Alibaba uh, even because Alibaba I knew that could go up you know like you know 10% or 15% but you know comparing to uh, GDCon uh, you know that uh, there is no comparison today you can see that uh, you know it, we had in uh, May and you have shares at $35 so in terms of performance the stock or this company proved to be a better investment compared to GDCO moreover uh, sorry compared to Alibaba moreover 
it happens that Alibaba it was trading within a downtrend and uh, GDCon uh, didn't violate the uptrend. So by far more interesting to invest uh, on weakness according to a trend in place rather than to be you know predicting when then the trend in Alibaba will reverse and then playing the bonds okay this is logical all right another thing that I found very interesting is, that, is when we made the survey uh, GDCon it is a company in the stock where most retail investors don't have a position compared to Alibaba so Alibaba uh, it is overcrowded compared to Digicom. Everyone talks about Alibaba, very few they talk about or discuss GDCon. But the interesting is that among institutions, this play or this company is by far more popular than Alibaba. So one more reason I prefer. And that, I mean, does not make you know the difference between GDCon and Alibaba, but it was something that I found out and I wanted to know why or to know more. So I found out that this player or this player or this company to be less risky compared to Alibaba. So I bought, I placed my trailing stop and today shares are where they are. I have never been stopped out. You just have to look at the chart. I'm going to show you again. You see that I didn't buy the shares at the bottom. I didn't buy the shares at the top. I bought in March 2015 and I'm very happy because those prices in March, they were very good, I think. So today what I'm going to discuss, uh, this peak was given to subscribers, uh, to those that they wanted to, obviously, and depending on the service. Today I'm going to disclose my view about this opportunity compared to Alibaba, all right?